There are a growing number of people who are working full time but cannot afford health care. Tonight, you will hear one Central Ohio woman's struggles to stay healthy. 10 TV's Jim Heath joins us in the studio with her story. And Jim, this comes down to the state's debate on Medicaid expansion. Yeah, and I think it's very important when we talk about this, uh, Kristen, Medicaid expansion. We can't forget that the debate affects real people and many are Ohio's working poor. I would just say it's not fair. We're just trying to survive, and we're the working class people. Greta Walton works a minimum wage job, long hours, while caring for her niece. She suffers from high blood pressure, but because she doesn't qualify for Medicaid, she's choosing each month between food, child care, and her medicine. I never work, miss work. I go to work sick. I go to work hungry, so it's not fair. Greta does receive free health care here at one of several health stations in Central Ohio operated by Mount Carmel Health, but it doesn't cover everything, including her prescription costs. I even thought about taking the pills every other day to try to stretch it, but the doctor said you cannot do that with high blood pressure. Ohio lawmakers are now debating whether to extend Medicaid coverage to anyone earning up to 133% of the federal poverty level. Ohio estimates that with Medicaid expansion and additional 275,000 people, many working poor would qualify. The biggest thing for Greta is it includes prescription prescription coverage. Lisa Grady from Mount Carmel Health says the cost to taxpayers if Greta goes to the emergency room for her care is significantly higher. In the meantime... That's not okay. That's not okay for anyone to live like this. These are people that are working. These are people that are trying to do the right thing. The right thing, Greta says, is making sure health care works for the working poor. It's very stressful. Just everyday worries. Republican lawmakers who oppose Medicaid expansion say they're just taking a longer view that it's irresponsible to put millions of dollars into an already struggling federal program, but they have not yet presented their own plan to cover Ohio's working poor. Live in the studio, Jim Heath, 10TV News.